An abscess is localized infection characterized by a collection of pus surrounded by inflamed tissue. A small abscess may respond to warm compresses or antibiotics and drain spontaneously. However, the treatment of choice for an abscess is incision and drainage. If this treatment is done properly, antibiotics are usually unnecessary. The equipment includes local anesthetic, such as 1 or 2% lidocaine, a syringe with a 25 to 30 gauge needle, usually 1 half to 1 inch in length, since only the skin over the abscess is anesthetized, an alcohol or povidine iodine wipe, 4 by 4 inch gauze, a number 11 or 15 blade scalpel, curved hemostats, packing gauze, and wound culture materials. Prep the abscess area with povidine iodine or alcohol. Carefully palpate the abscess to accurately determine the size and location. Use protective eyewear. Purulent material can squirt out if pressure is applied. Administer a field block with local anesthetic to allow an adequate incision to be made. Avoid infiltration of the abscess cavity. Concentrate on anesthetizing the perimeter of the tissue around the abscess. Local anesthetics are less effective in the acidic milieu of an abscess. More anesthetic than usual may be needed to relieve pain. Make an incision with a scalpel blade to allow drainage of the abscess cavity and to prevent premature closure of the incision. When possible, make the incision along the skin lines. Apply gentle external pressure to express all of the pus. Explore the abscess cavity thoroughly with a sterile cotton tip applicator or with hemostats. Attempts should be made to break down any walled off pockets or possible septa. Pack the cavity loosely with packing material, preferably iodoform gauze. The length and the width used for the packing depends on the abscess size. After packing the wound, leave a small tail of gauze protruding from the wound to allow for drainage and eventual removal of the gauze. Do not pack the wound tightly, as this does not improve outcomes. Apply an ointment over the wound to prevent packing gauze from sticking to the overlying dressing which can lead to accidental removal of the packing when the dressing is changed. Healing of an abscess should progress from the inside out. The abscess cavity needs to heal before the skin incision to reduce the risk of recurrence.